Well, I really enjoy making glue books. I like working in them and I like doing them by color. I've shown my personal ones a couple of times and I had a couple of requests for some um, glue books that were basically color coordinated the way I like to do it. Um, those of you that haven't seen them before, this is basically what I do is I get uh, different papers that I have that, you know, it might be scrapbook paper, it might be pages out of the magazine, just, you know, whatever I have, old calendars. And I put them together based on color. And then I come back and I glue in my books. I just really enjoy doing that. So here's an example of my green one. Most of these are done. There's a couple of pages probably in each one that may not be done. And I'll go back and finish those. I especially like my black and white ones. I think those are fun. I think they're like my favorite ones to do. There's so many different shades of, you know, black and grays and shades of white. It really lends to a really dramatic look. And even though I don't consider myself, you know, like a purple girl, uh, I really enjoyed doing my purple one. So anyway, I was asked to make a few, so I did. And so I thought, well, maybe there's others that would like some. So I started making, you know, multiples of different colors. And I got a little carried away, <laughs> as I tend to. But it was fun doing them. Now, um... I have on some of them I have four and I think most of them I do have four of each and each one of these they are they are six and a half across they're eight and a half this way the covers are manila folders that I have uh, painted with my jelly plate and then I came back and got some leaves from my yard and with some gesso I uh, stamped the leaves uh, on the front. Uh, the backs are plain for you to go ahead and you know do your gluing on there. The spines all have some type of a cloth that coordinates with the color theme of each journal. They have uh, 80 pages and so when I say 80 pages I mean 80 you know different sides they all are different. Um, I drew a lot of the same color palette from like some different scrapbook um, packs that I had. So they might have some of the same colors in the different um, the different journals in the same color, but um, they're not identical. They don't all have the same ones. And so it is ready. Uh, for you to do your gluing. If you're not a glue person, it's ready for you to write or draw or whatever it is that you want to do with your journals. But I love using these as glue books. And then I sewed around the edge. And so I have, I'll show you the colors that I have. I have the orange. I have yellows I have these I call these more like a teal color I'm not sure but that's what I call it <laughs> I like that color a lot I have some tan ones black and white love the black and white and purples. I used green paint on here, but it came out kind of blue, but I go by the cloth I put on there. So I call these my green ones because it's pretty much green colored papers and cutouts um, in here. And then I've got my pink ones which came out pretty cool
And then the last color that I have <clears throat> is um, your basic, what I call your basic blue. <laughs> with different papers. I have wallpaper in there also and just all different kinds of papers. So those are the basic colors that I have and I have them in my shop and I've been playing around with these because um, first I did the painting and I go okay now what do I want to do then I did some cloth and I go oh now what do I want to do and it just kind of morphed and they've been living here a long time because you can see how many I made and that doesn't count the ones that you know were my special order so I've been living with these for a while and I think they need a new home and you know what I think that new home should be with you